Do do. Hey, go kick! Louisville. Yeah, Louisville, Kentucky. This isn't no St. Regis or uh, Four Seasons, but you know, it's all right. My boy, he's from Colorado. And now yeah. we're here. We're about to go explore uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken Land. And if you see right there, KFC Headquarters. KFC Headquarters. Ha <laughs> ha! So definitely gonna try that. Today's the day, boys. Today's the day. So we're at the joint. We're at the location. We're at the venue. Bluebird, that is the, f that is the first piece of equipment I've ever purchased in my life. I was 18. This right here was my first piece of equipment and I'll show you, watch. Look at this picture. This is me in my garage at 18 years old, long hair, and I have a Bluebird. Oh, Mr. 10X. And Mr. 10, I'm Mr. like, yeah, 10X. we all 10X, dog. Look at that, we all 10X, huh? Oh, look at cow, cow. cow's rolling in. Hey, where are you from? From Orange, Kentucky. Yeah, hey, you like this place or what? Oh yeah, man, it's awesome. I'm oh, excited yeah. for the outdoor. Yep. I've never yep. been here, it's my first time. Oh, really, me too. But it's about to go down. <laughs> We're looking for a bald guy. We are looking for a bald guy. We're looking for a bald guy. Oh, there's a bald guy, but that's not him. We're looking for another bald guy. We're looking for a... Oh, more YouTubers. I was like, I was like, we're looking for a bald guy. There's no bald guy. You got a hat. See, I got a couple of What up, dog? What's up, man? Good to see you. Ooh, now we're outside. Look who I ran into. Pastor Joel, Come baby. Ha-ha, <laughs> Mr. Come 10X on. himself. Hmm. Do you get the drive machines here? Let's go find out. We're here. We're gonna, we're gonna test drive this one right here. That scooter over there. Old boy scooter. Country boy. See, I run my ammo. Joel. It, was, it was a lot of dirt, man. It's jerky, isn't it? Very jerky. It, it tip. It seemed like it tips a lot. Yeah. Man. Look at all these people. Who are all these people? <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna roll up. We're gonna roll up and keep up. <laughs> I'm just watching guys get in the business and just go like that because they have been like What's up, man? What's up, man? <laughs> How you doing, Keith? Why are you doing?
I'm with the, with the famous sheep. Sheep. That was over the there he is. Up, man? Everybody knows yeah, him. Yeah, Everybody yeah. knows him. I don't like old man. Everybody knows this guy. Imagine with the wrong Everybody knows this guy. this guy. Why is this place? Everyone's here. Everyone's here, dude. Hey, go king. Go king, baby. Go king, baby. <laughs> go king, baby. That's what's up. I'm walking in this joint. It's a cave. Go gang taking over. It's a cave. What up, homeboy? Go gang taking over. You're back. Look at this. I am. Back in black. All right, we hopping over. This is a cave. Ah. Huh. Smells like smells like mildew. Smells wet. Smells like mildew. This looks like it feels like an abandoned place, dude. Okay. What do we got here? Whoa! Literally a cave. Wow! Alright. It's having a lot of fun. I'm meeting some awesome people. I know I met some of you. I know you're watching this video. I know I met you. You met me. You might have seen me. You might have walked by and then seen me and then not said anything and I made eye contact with you. And then you said, are you Tigran? What's your favorite drink? Crown apple cranberry, baby. All day. That's a manly drink. Hell yeah. What's your favorite drink, homeboy? I'm over a beer guy. Oh, he's a beer guy. Good old Miller, Miller Lite. Light. Can't go wrong with that. Keeping it classy. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Joel, what's your favorite drink, man? And this one right here. You know why? Why? Because you bought it for me. Oh, yeah, I did. I, I did buy it. it. Zach, what's your favorite drink? Crown apple and vodka. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. That makes two. That makes two. That's right. What's your favorite drink, homeboy? Whiskey. Whiskey. Yeah. I like water. Wrapping up the after party. I ran into a few people. I ran into Hartman. I ran into my boy. Okay. I ran into you. Cameraman over here. Woo! Holla at your boy. And then I put on, this is the dude that put on the whole after hour event. What's up, guys? Yeah. Long hair rookie. Long hair rookie. Most of your Armenian. And then, and then, Last but not least, this dude rolls up on me. Look at his hand. He's got his hand. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, there he is. Look at this guy. Dude, look at his bracelet. Look at him. Hey, this bling, bling. Sweet. Bling, bling. You forgot your bling, bling. I love it. Hey, man. Dude, I, I want to learn how to make this. Like, I want to. You having fun, though? Dude, this is awesome. Yeah. This is like five years in a row. This is a row to this. It's pretty crazy, man. It's fun. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm going to come here next year. Got the rental car. Got my hat on. Met some awesome people yesterday. About to meet some even cooler people today. This is situation, it's a lituation. And now, we in business. We in business. Let's go for a one last cruise before we leave. A little backstory. The This was my favorite mower when I was mowing. When I owned a mower, this was it. And that was my favorite one. I absolutely love that mower. It was a badass mower. It was a standard. It was one of those. That one. I sold it to pay my rent when I was really broke. That was like the hardest thing that I had to do. That was my prized possession. Are you getting in the vlog? You getting in the vlog? Heck yeah, man. What's up, man? All right, so you should always choose a right mower. How come? Tell me why. So there's a lot of reasons. Yeah. One of the reasons is the Aero Core deck. Uh -huh. See, over the past few years, Wright has been tremendously improving their decks. Yeah. And at this point, they're pretty much the best standard. How much is it? This specific. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this one's sitting around 8,300. Would you buy it? Oh yes, our company is definitely. How many you got? Uh, right now we have one Wright standard mower. Yeah. yeah what's your name? Tigran. What? Tigran. I think I'm subscribed. Yeah. Yeah. He probably know me. Yeah. We do big jobs in California. Did you do hard skating? Yeah. yeah. My hat, man. Come on. This dude. This dude makes fat stacks. Now you know me? Now you know me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you should know me, man. You should know me. What's up, fellas? You want to get in this or what? I mean, you guys are like pussy putting around. Let's go. What up? What's up? We having fun? Oh, yeah, for sure. You can't not have fun. You jacked up my monster. 
been on the best dance. Introduce yourself to the people, man. Come on. All right, I'm Angel Cortez. I'm with uh, Cortez Line Landscape. Say it, say it like you Cortez Line Landscape. Say it Landscape. like you're a billionaire. Yeah, Come on, me. say it like you're rich. Yep. Yeah. About to be. Ah. Just the gang. Yeah, 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 yeah. At a boy. Next. Hey, this is my boy right here. What's going on, man? How you How's doing? it going? How you doing? Man? How was the show? Hey, you want to make more money or what? I do. How much money you want to make? Tell the people. I like to talk about money. People don't like to talk about money. I do. A million dollars. A million dollars. Yeah. Is that your number? Profit. Or is that someone else's? What profit? Is that your number or someone else's? Who told you a million dollars is not? I have no clue. Yeah. Are we getting oh, really? deep, man? You gotta think about it, man. How much money do you really uh, yeah. have? What's rich to you? Come on, Blake. Rich me? Yeah, what's rich to you? 15 plus. 15 what, million? Yeah. Okay. What's super rich? 100 million. So how much money? I want 100 million. Well, yeah, there's a whole Blake. I like it. I hope Blake gets rich. Hey, you're the, you're the new wife, right? You want Blake to be rich? Ah, she likes money. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's okay. You know what? Every girl should be a gold digger. Gold is good. Gold is good, right? What do you think, Blake? Gold is good, man. Gold is good. Every girl should want a guy with money. The guy said it, it's better, and I wanted to try it out, and finally, I get to try it out. But we'll see if it's better. take away from these events is you know a lot of people come here and they're like what tool do I need to get in order to improve my company yes the tools help however but if your mindset's not right about employees about hiring people about spending money in business the correct way it won't matter see what I'm saying the mindset comes first I was talking to this dude yesterday and he hit it on the head he's like dude the mindset is first and I said correct you are a smart man my friend you're a smart man and being in Kentucky now I'm starting to develop an accent kind of crazy you are a smart man my friend this is a really good event it was super fun meeting everyone and now I'm on my way to go do a meet and greet in Nashville where we just landed in Nashville we're about to hit up our National Mastermind. A bunch of us are getting together. Look at this. That's a nice view. So this is my first time in Nashville. I've actually never been here, and neither have the boys. This is why it's good to be in a group, man, because you can plan stuff like this and say, yo, let's go, let's go explore the city and mastermind and have a little fun doing it. And getting a write-off on the business. You know, this is gonna be a learning experience for sure. Like a lot. They're the boys, they're the boys. Come on, look at this view. Nashville. You've been in Nashville, huh? Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. You? Yeah. You have? Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm the virgin. Alright. <laughs> Fine. Whatever guys. Oh wow. Hey, this is a dope ass room, dude. Check it out. Wow, look at this. Got a little couch, a little reading table. Nice view. Sick. Yeah, wow, sick. nice view. Nashville's a pretty good town. Rooftop masterminding, here we go. <laughs> Tell, hanging out with my imaginary friends that are finally coming <laughs> to life. That's what Hartman's dad, Hartman, Hartman's dad right there, he said when we are going to the, to the meetup, to the whole thing, he's like, oh, you're gonna hang out with your imaginary friends? <laughs> and now we are imaginary. We became real. Yes. Every second, every <laughs> hour, <laughs> business. That's all we do. We work business. Get part of something great, man. Join the group. Come on. Come join the family. Let's be friends. Oh, yeah. Well, back from the GIE. First day at work. Let me take my glasses off so you know how serious I am about this. I had a lot of fun. Had a lot of fun. Met 
really great people to all my fans thank you so much thank you for your support thank you for believing in me thank you for watching my videos i met you in person even better really humbling to meet you in person and you knowing me and me getting to know you that was really fun i met awesome people dude like beyond awesome people all the youtubers keith kelfis dirt monkey brian a bunch of these guys right i also have a friend named dan beals dan beals i wanted to do a video with him but just didn't have the time he has this app called yard hop you got to check it out it's like an app for lawn maintenance people lawn care people it's like, this is a billion dollar idea dude hopping away to the big money yard hop look it up for real that event was great but what's even better than going there and learning about pavers or riding on the new machines it's about going there and socializing meeting the new people dude like these people are in the same industry as you and if you don't think that you can gain value by going in there and talking to them getting a picture taking a selfie then then you're wrong like straight up i'll tell you when you're wrong and this is the time you're wrong this was epic learned a lot i went to i went to hang out with a bunch of these guys after hours and that's where the real conversation started that's where i could tell where they're hung up on something that they're doing in their business and where they are actually succeeding there's a lot you can't tell through video once you spend 15 20 minutes with someone in real life you'd be like whoa now i understand this guy a little bit more you know now i understand and I want friends, man. This is why I, I made the whole GOAT game. This is why I made this whole group. And I didn't even plan on this, but this is going to be bigger than I have ever anticipated. Not only do I get access to people year-round, nationwide, pretty soon worldwide, but you get access to them as well. Yeah, I have a little fame to go along with it. Yeah, it's a little bit easier for me, but it wasn't easy for me because I had to start just like you were going to start. I had to post that video, get five views on YouTube, and say, damn, why don't I have 50? Now I post a video and I have 5,000 views, and I'm like, damn, why don't I have 500,000? See what I'm saying? Like, that is where you, you're going to need to be. Constant progression. Getting around people that are doing similar than you. Get around people that are light years ahead of you. This is why... I'm such a big fan of Grant Cardone. A light years ahead of me. I'm, I will catch up, I promise. Because I know I'm ahead of him when he was 28. I just gotta keep putting the work, keep going to him, keep seeking mentorship, keep investing in myself, and sooner or later, I'll turn back around and be like, did that really happen? How did we get here? So with that being said, here are some pictures and videos of us having fun in Nashville and talking about business. I'm just going to let them rip. I hope you enjoy, man. But after this is over, that's it for the video. Much respect. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being a part of this. I really hope you take the initiative and grow a pair. Join the GOAT gang, the greatest of all time gang. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's what's up. Whatever that means. I don't know. What, I, don't, I don't need. GOAT gang doesn't have any gang signs. I guess that was one of them. But join up, mentor up, get some new friends. Stop hanging out with your loser high school friends. They got nothing good for you, man. Go nationwide, better yet, go worldwide. Look what Elon Musk is doing. He's like, I hate everyone here. I'm going to Mars. <laughs> Peace.